Well, hello there. It's the Archivist from TradingCardArchives.com. And as you can see, we have something really amazing on the table here today. And uh, since it is such a cool new release, uh, I wanted to do another joint video with my friend, the Trading Card Collector. Uh, and he's got his own box over there. Why don't you go ahead and say hello? Hello, everyone. Trading Card Collector over here. And yes, we're getting to getting ready to open something awesome, as you mentioned. Yeah, this is Kabog or Gabago or however they want to say it. They say it a different way each time. <laughs> um, but this is Series 8. I had almost given up on this uh, after the Dragon set came out for Lunar New Year. And I just thought, oh, we're never going to get another Kabog set. They went out of business or they got copyright struck or whatever happens to these companies. Um, but you, you told me, actually, that they were going to print an eighth set. And then, like, two weeks later disappeared and now we have the eighth set and you bought a bunch of these i actually have four of these here, on here. wow yeah i got i only got two because i wanted to i always would like a spot check at first and then i decide if i want to go all in no i i mean i am sold on kabog already so i went all in although i have seen your video because you already opened one of these uh and a few other videos and i, I guess they're not quite at the kabog level that we're used to but I'm still really, really hopeful that we're going to get some awesome stuff from this. Uh, why don't we go through the flyer quick, and then we'll do that box war format again. So we'll go through the flyer, uh, we'll come back here, and then uh, the trading card collector will open his box, do half of it, and I'll come back and do half mine, we'll do we'll do all that. Uh, but here's the flyer, and uh, Kabog flyers are massive things, because these are huge sets. They usually have over 400 unique cards in each uh, box, right? So the flyers are huge, huge, huge things. Uh, this site where I bought my boxes from um, has part of the flyer and it's in kind of a lower resolution. I wanted to mention that there is a channel on our Discord, which I'll put a link in this video again. Um, the Trading Card Collector and I run a Discord together with some just awesome, awesome people on it, like amazing people. Uh, but the, And so what we have on there is a high resolution of this flyer, the complete flyer, every single section. Uh, so if you do want to see a very high-res version, uh, you, you can see one there. Uh, but here you can already kind of get an idea of how big the set is. It's using that multi-hit pack system again, so there will be uh, multiple different levels of hit packs that you can get. Uh, there's uh, rares at the bottom, 114. Why are there 114 of each of these? That seems weird. I, I mean, I guess they designed it's it that a, way. Uh... But yeah, that, not, I don't yeah. think it's 114. I, th I think that might be a typo because if, if you look at the back of the box, oh yeah, you can see you can see the the same breakdown, and it's only 24. Yeah, you're right. The back of the box has a completely different breakdown than this, so uh, we're just going to ignore this. Although that is the <laughs> that's not even the, all the rarities. Okay, never mind. Oh, the rest of them are down here. Okay, so I think that is all the rarities. There's actually SGP is not on the box. SGP, interesting. It is not a lid. Okay, so we're gonna uh, kind of wild west here, but apparently there are numbered cards in here. Six, six, six. Uh, lowest numbered card seems to be the one, one, ones. Uh, and then you've got, of course, your prizes because Kabog sets always come with prizes. Do you know anyone who bought a case of this? I think Joe, who's on our channel, bought a case because he mentioned that he normally buys a few cases of computer yeah, sets. You're and right. I'm pretty sure he bought one. Uh, I don't think it has arrived yet because it was he, he did comment on one on my the video I posted yesterday. Um okay. uh, so not yesterday, even this morning, I think. Saying like, oh, you know, my boxes are still not here. How do you get yours so fast? <laughs> Okay, yeah, yeah. He, he did get a case. Okay, because I, I, once he posts his case video, we should link it and stuff because it, it would be really cool, I think, to see what the case for this looks like. Um, because it probably has some of those prizes in it, probably not all of them, probably not the umbrella, but uh, mo most of them are probably in there. Uh, and uh, he actually bought a case of the Gundam Lacard Gundam Series 3, and he sold me five boxes from his case, so that was pretty awesome. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, all right. super cheap, too. So. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Business here on Discord. Oh yeah, the Discord is is flying. I was telling uh, so, the trading card collector no, before no, no. we started filming that like I spend all day now just kind of talking on the Discord to people, and I really do. And normally, when when you look at the flying, you look at the prices, you have a, a breakdown of 
um, the frequency that you get those prices in depending on the cases that you buy. Because a, a lot of the super cool stuff, mm. you only get one every like five cases or 10 cases or 20 cases. Got it. So, um, yeah, on a case, you're, all, you're always wanting to have uh, the lower tier ones. So you get like between one, between one to five, depending on what they are. But then the other ones, you need to buy multiple cases to get them. Got it. So this, uh, these SS and S prizes are probably only in some of the cases. <laughs> probably, yeah. I, oh I honestly think the, uh, the fly on, on our Discord does have that breakdown, but I have to double check. Oh, OK. I haven't, I haven't looked at the whole thing yet either. He showed me it right before this video, and I was so overwhelmed. I was just like, nope, can't do that. I'm going to look at this. Uh, but it is <laughs> huge. Good, yeah. It's massive. Uh, but I guess we've got some booklet cards here with maybe some silver on them. I, I might probably just print it on, but it looks kind of cool. It's interesting. Like, I love that art style. That's great. Uh, these SGPs then, those look like the GPs from last Kabog release to me. So those look great, but they, I mean, that buggy looks great. It looks really scary. I like it. They almost look like gold, like a, like a gold relief almost. It's yeah. Really cool. Uh, very heavy frame on the big news cards, the SSPs. Uh, I've got some painting, like classical paintings, I guess. <laughs> cards, interesting. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, lots of wanted posters, of course, with the little emblems. Wanteds. These ones here look awesome. Like they've got, they, though it must be some sort of AI art, but I, I don't know. They've got these cool, like iridescent wings. Then LGRs, it's all like steampunk style, kind of steampunky. Now those are very cute. The QRs have like <laughs> super cutesy with little pets. I, I, I'm all all about it. I hope I get one of those for sure. Uh, those, those I've seen these images before. I can't. I'm sorry, I'm like having a blank where they they, came from. There seems to be an auto. AI generated out of this set. That would be my guess. Okay. And then we've got tickets, of course, because tickets are all the rage these days. <laughs> like everybody's making tickets. So I'm uh, not too surprised to see Kabog make some too. Uh, and that's all the flyer we have here. But like I said, the uh, Discord has the complete flyer. So if you do want to see like all the gore details, uh, they are there. Um, okay. So let's dig in and see what we actually got today. Uh, so let's switch over and. Uh, trading card collector. Let's yeah. open your box and get get half those packs ripped. Let's uh, let's get going. And have you noticed how they just restarted the numbering for the stats? No. Oh, so on, I didn't. The, I just on the back. the back. Yeah, yeah. it's OP01. On You're the right. back, it's OP01. It's not OP08. So it's a brand that new series. That kind of makes so. sense because if you think about it, the other series was called uh, what was it called? Like Grand Line Endless, Endless Treasure, right? Endless Treasure, yeah. And this one is the I guess, Master. I guess, I guess it ended. <laughs> yeah, that must be it ran out treasure. <laughs> this is the Master of the New World, so it's like a new series. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's Let's really gold. <laughs> It is, yeah. The box, the box is, is interesting. Um, I guess I don't have a long pack on this one either, but you, you can sort of see on the box yeah, that, that it does have the uh, room for it. Indication yeah. <laughs> to have that. Um, all right, so we have was it sixteen packs? Oh, thirteen, thirteen packs and a hit pack. Yeah, so it should be thirteen and, and a hit. Yeah. And then it looks like there's a white hit pack, a black hit pack, and then that uh, long ticket pack. So you got the white one. There's a there's kind of like a black and gold hit pack version. That must be the better one, maybe. Yeah, because this is the same one I got in my other box. So I'm pretty sure that the other one um, is probably better. Okay. Uh, well, let's let's open packs. Yeah, let's get a let's get a look at them. It looks like it's going to be two cards per pack, which I think it's yeah, pretty standard for the buy. Pretty right. standard for them, yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm starting with an R. So which I think is the uh, the base rarity. I have that here, and, and the R's don't really have any treatment on them. It's uh, it's really just normally slightly glossy, yeah. finish, but that's that's about it. And then an SR. 
with shanks. So do you Basically, find the distribution has changed? Like the way the Kabog boxes no. always seem to work is there's like sets of three that you would get? Yeah, that's that's probably what I got from the previous box. I think one of them I got four, but in general it was three for most of them. Like if you go if you go through the list uh, of cards, like from the ones in the back of the box, starting from the top, the top should be like the the easiest one to get. Uh, oh, but yeah. I think that like, really the first six or seven are all sort of the same distribution up until the ex one i would say ex i think i only got two okay but and then that's else, where it starts to get like more yeah. rare and less guaranteed that, that gets box. harder yeah yes. but everything else you should get roughly three cards per box so according to my experience right. so if you go down the r and it's typically evil and distributed right like you get three of one one rarity on three consecutive packs. Yeah, that's what and I always kind of liked about them. Is it, it was always like really consistent pull rates for the different rarities. And this, another SR, also shanks. But not the same. They're like slightly different poses. That's kind of neat. A different pose, yeah. yeah. Oh, here's a puzzle piece, the one puzzle. I saw the puzzle in your other video. It looked great. I mean, the piece you got at least was really clean. I got the Luffy, yeah. <laughs> so I got yeah. basically the Luffy case. Yeah, you got like I'm the sure, middle think, piece. It was like a great piece, I thought. Yeah. This puzzle is is pretty uh, basic, I think, compared to the other puzzles, because it's uh, it's going to be a very large image with just four characters, and, and typically, I think every other puzzle has been much larger. Um, okay, so a CR. So I guess something different. And these are the ones with slightly like granulated feel to it and you got some characters in traditional chinese clothing and here's the puzzle we got a buggy buggy all time. right nice super cool buggy, the buggy town piece okay I'll put that over here so then that and cr is stuff. kind of a higher pull right yeah that's all the way up past ex even yeah i think i got three of these as well so really, you end up getting three of these. Uh, to be fair, the quality of this one does feel better. And I think I think it's even thicker than the other ones. It doesn't have any foil treatment like this SRs, for example. Um, but it is thicker, and it does have like the sparkly and granulated fit to it. But the art style, I think they're both sort of like AI generated. Um, OK, oh, this one, this one I really like. So this is the uh, okay. the animated cell frame, and I only got one of these. I got Ooh, one of these in, that in the previous is box. Super nice. But I did I did really like this one. Yeah. So I think I think it might even be my favorite one. It's a big cell. Uh, I love so it. Far. Yeah, that is a very nice yeah. and like a super thick card too. It is very thick. Yes, that is also true. But only one per box in, in the previous box I opened, so I'm going to be I'm curious to oh, see. If I, I love the design work on. on it. It's just got beautiful There's another uh, CR. Design. I'll put over here. And I have three packs left. Max one. I forgot to ask about uh, the backs. The Do the backs uh, say like the first on them or something like that? or? They, they do not. No, it only says like the master of the new world. So it doesn't have oh. like that huh. label as previous Quebec. I, I did mention that yesterday too, because I thought it was interesting. Um, I guess if they continue with this series, the masters of the new world, second series, then they will start adding that I'll label. have to do something, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this VR ones. So this is sort of like DJ or like hip hop music rock. yeah i mean personally i love also the art but i think it's it's probably ai but it looks cool to me and then the ex the ES, i don't really know where these are from um these definitely look interesting uh, a, a bit on the waifu side um and a bit you, not yeah. explicit but but you know it's a it, it seems to be like a bit of fun service <laughs> they definitely um, yeah, lean so, they lean a little bit into their characters, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the, the card quality the card quality has not 
has not definitely not decreased. Like the the material mm-hmm. quality is there. It's just yeah, the nice the strong art square itself. corners and that kind of feel. Yeah. Yeah. Is there like you know everyone likes different things, and if you like this kind of <laughs> art, then this set is definitely for you. Oh, yeah, this one is a bit damaged. I, I think like Bugger. the big names are going to be what like the fog, lucky card, and like card, yeah maybe. Yeah. I think Kabog and Lucky are the big ones. Right? Probably the two bigs, um, yeah. That's it. Uh, here's the second EX. Yeah, that, that, honestly, this these are like fun, servicey, but also sort of like a cyberpunk style to them. Right. I, that's so, sort of a cool, interesting look to it. I mean, it's not straight up waifu, so. Yeah, no, but there's, there's definitely some of those. <laughs> a little, a little <laughs> bit, yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, this this is the last pack from this first half. And um, reminder, I did seven. Uh, there's like seven and six. Um, okay, this is the first UR, which I think is also uh, among the basic variety ones. Uh, uh, actually, I think I got this one yesterday too. So that oh, was going to okay. be a good. Uh, yeah, good and the GR. Ooh, GR. Oh, nice. GR. GR. I also got this one yesterday. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so I'm got... so sorry. Oh, my. Okay. Dang. All right. <laughs> Um, uh, honestly, if if the art was more appealing to my taste, yeah, this would be an amazing card because the the design, like the design itself, is great. The detailing is great. The the surface that the card has, or like the the framing that it has with like those golden pieces and the background, uh, it is an amazing card. I just hmm. don't like the art, <laughs> <laughs> and that can do it. Uh, for okay, you, yeah. but yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's it. That's that's, that's seven okay. packs. So All right, we'll, we'll switch back over and uh, I'll get mine open and then we'll take a look at it. I just, while you were doing that, I went in the archives and pulled out a uh, Kabog original. This is the original box, the very first uh, OP1. This is the Hell real yeah, OP1, one, one, right? Two. Yeah, right? Because I thought yes. it was the same size, but they're not. This box is actually quite a bit no. bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just because the way this one works on the inside is it has that same single pack design, so I thought it might be the same, but they're not the same. But, so they hadn't they hadn't gone all out with the ticket size cards yet, right? So it was all normal cards. Oh, that's also right. another interesting bit about that that first box is that they they didn't have the endless pressure label on it yet. I think that was only added in I don't know. Three oh, or four. I didn't notice that. You're right. I never noticed that. Yeah, it does have the Kabag animation logo, which you can. Yeah, that's the same. Right, but and the endless stretch uh, thing was only added later. Yeah, and they spell it what uh, Kabog with a K and no O at the end. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yes, <laughs> I don't know how any of this works. Uh, okay, so here's the box. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I mean, you talked about it more yesterday, but this image on the front is just. I mean, that's incredible. <laughs> I really like it. You know the pro- the only problem I find with this box is that when you have such a dark color, hmm. it's harder to it's harder to stream with that dark color because it doesn't like, come across it doesn't pop as much as that's lighter true. boxes. Yeah, right? that's definitely true. And then the inside here just looks like gold, <laughs> just straight gold. Oh, there's more of a map, uh, like a map texture to it too. Kind of neat. Great shape. And oh, this yeah. This is not a coin. It has like a map thing. That's just a sticker, right? Like, and then it looks like I got uh, are all. Are the insides the same for everybody? Always Nika? Yes. Okay. At least. Go Based on the three yeah. boxes I've seen so far. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like I did not get the uh, black ticket, but I got one of those. Oh, you got a. Oh wow, you got two hit packs. Awesome. I guess so. <laughs> now I wonder if that takes away from your regular pack. One, two, three, four, five, six. It shouldn't, right? It didn't, so it's still seven, uh, six and seven, so yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so you got you got an ultra special hit hey, pack. Hey, nice. Got a little lucky is it, there. Is it heavy is it heavy? Is it gonna be a metal one? I could go get my scale. No, this one's heavier. <laughs> this is lighter. Uh, okay, uh, then it's probably a redemption one. But hey, we'll see. Oh, man, come on. <laughs> well, I bought this from what Anime Card Store. They would probably do the redemption, but I, I don't know that I'd want to. 
Um, okay. I think most of them do, but you, ha you have to buy something else, right? Yeah, I did. I just send it to almost you. definitely would. So, oh wow, okay. So I, I'm starting out here. You were right. Like the the rares, they are just color printed. Like there is yeah, just nothing printed. on that at all. Yeah. There's a, there's some texture if you touch it. Oh, there is. But it's but it's pretty. It's pretty oh, basic. Oh, it's basic. Yeah. Okay, I get it. It's like just the the image is printed on top of that. Still kind of a, I mean, I like the, the colors, looks great. But this VR, this is nice. This is like, yeah, you're like more of a, a DJ style. And I really like that. So I got a, a Luffy with blue hair like nice. that. That can't be right. Are you sure that's Luffy? Does it, uh, I it guess it does say. It says it's Luffy at the top, but I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure because <laughs> I, I can't tell I can't think of anyone else who it looks like either so I'm kind of like just gonna go with it it's, it's Luffy this all this look like Dragon Ball uh, or Dragon Warrior artwork right yeah the, the art on those are it's it's a bit I don't know they just make this one piece woman just look like children and it just feel a bit it yep. feels a bit wrong it's very much <laughs> uh like the dragon ball or uh, sorry i keep saying that dragon warrior style artwork that's what it looks like to me and so i got an sr which i thought looks like a major hit but that's actually just an sr <laughs> cool great looking cards i mean they are definitely up there with kabog's uh previous releases i i I think the only difference is these rares are they had never printed a card that basic before, I don't think. Yeah, I agreed. Oh, I got one of the CRs as well. And you're right, it's like a traditional uh, Chinese dress kind of, but then a, I guess a navy helmet. <laughs> Domino. That looks like a, no, it looks like a pirate. No, no. Yeah. This is an awesome looking card though like great uh i call that glitter printing on the back i don't know what that's actually called okay my puzzle piece uh, not as cool as yours it's still pretty neat but <laughs> well you know it's blackbeard yeah i guess it's a it's a big villain it's probably gonna be the big baddie at the end of one piece it would make sense it would be kind of strange if he was if he wasn't yeah who knows right I like the stamping on it. I mean, it would be a cool puzzle, I think, if you had the whole thing. It would be nice and clean. Uh, but I, I would have preferred the loopy piece. Oh, this pack has three cards in it or something. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, it's one of the thick. It's that's what it is. Okay. Oh uh, right. Yeah, they they have like the animation thing sandwich in the middle. Yeah, I kind of get it. So okay. So but that that, look, that looks awesome though, doesn't it? Oh yeah, they're very, very cool cells. And like a big cell too. It's a really big film cell. I agree. I mean, these are awesome. Oh, I guess this is probably the front. Okay. Man, that is... Uh, yeah, I, that is a really good looking card. I, I like this one, I think, more just because I like that style, but that is a very good card there, too. Okay, this SSR is strange. <laughs> oh, that is it. So, okay, I originally thought, because the first card I pulled on that set was, um, I believe, Nami, and she was wearing like a skin tight hmm. suit that I thought was like based off of Evangelion, the, the old anime. Oh, okay. Um, but someone corrected me on, on YouTube, and it's apparently One Piece characters um, with uh, Overwatch, like, stuff on them. Oh, so that's, that's what's uh, going on. Okay. That, yeah, so the SSR is One Piece plus Overwatch. <laughs> that's, good. that's a good combination, though. I mean, for popularity, yeah. I would think. I mean, they're both really popular, so I'm sure that yeah, right? people will love that. Oh man, they sh they could actually make that. Why not? Oh, wait. <laughs> don't, don't do that. 
Uh, okay, I got another uh, SSR, Brooke. Uh huh. I'm sure, like, isn't One Piece on like Fortnite or something? Yeah, I think sure they're in some something, point, right? one of those. Yeah. Got another VR. Jinbei again. The VRs are my personal. I I, I think those are my favorites. I just would love the DJ style hmm. so much. But that would be personal, right? It would be like, what style do you like the most? Would be kind of which. Yeah, you like uh, yeah. Look, I mean, the like, I'm sure a lot of people are going to love these cards because the the art mm -hmm. style really resonates with them. Yep. And the quality is there, right? Like, even the basic ones, they are very high quality. You just have to like the art too. What is this Luffy with an assault rifle? Is that canon? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> I mean, not like. I don't think any of these <laughs> like, rarities do reflect anything that's happened in the anime, right? So just interpretations. With... Although that would be pretty, uh, pretty epic. Okay, I love this Zoro UR. This, like, I don't know. This design is just really speaking to me. I really like it. The green, the kind of different layers to it. I think that's the, cool the one card. the the one bit I, I don't understand yet about those is the um, hmm. on the top of that you are you can see the one piece one piece ing and I don't really know if that's in reference to something one piecing one piece one piecing one piecing like one piece. we are in the progress of one piecing <laughs> is that what's happening that. I don't know if I that's a know. verb okay interesting. And here's my last pack for first half. Oh, got a GR. Nice. Yeah, that is cool. It's got like a... Oh, it's got a ton of treatments on it. Oh my god, okay. There's a lot of texture on that card. That's overwhelming, kind of like their old other GRs. And then, yeah, I got one of the EXs. Um, Definitely leaning into uh, waifu territory there. <laughs> like, yeah, quite a bit. Quite, but uh, also, a fair cyber, of fun like I see you've got the kind of like cyberpunk arm. So, I mean, one of the ones I got, I think there's like an octopus in the back. So uh, I think that's definitely <laughs> going to waifu, the waifu lane. Cool. <laughs> uh, well, that's half my box. And this is in traditional Kabog style. Like, I love it. It's just a great explosion of different things. And it's all it's, all, it's lots of fun. You don't have like this pile of bulk at the bottom like you would have most sets. Uh, why don't we flip yeah. back over and, and see what you got in your, your other half? All right. So we, we have yeah. six packs, six packs left and a hit pack. Mm -hmm. And you have two hit packs. I'm very jealous about that. <laughs> I do. I'm sorry. I, I got lucky. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So starting with a UR with Shanks. Shanks is one piecing. Really it's one piecing so hard. <laughs> GR of Nami. I think I got this one yesterday too. I'm getting so much repetition in just two boxes. Oh wow. But GR, this is the first. Oh no, it's the Are second. Both GR. boxes from subject. the same vendor. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, because I think you normally get a slight discount, right? If you buy, uh, yeah, I did the same thing. But then I, I wonder sometimes if maybe you're getting like two right next to each other in a case or something. That I don't know if it matters. It shouldn't matter. But... Okay. Oh. okay, so here's the first uh, HR. Very high quality in terms of detailing and cards. Do not oh. really love the design of image though. But this are also like. A bit waifu, a, a bit no less, less obvious than the EX ones, and a bit more tame in that sense. I see. Yeah, it's a little bit more yeah. mm, Disney princess style, a, like a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And another UR with Ace. Those three URs. Yeah. Okay. That's two packs in. Only four left. Yeah. <clears throat> And here, SSR, the Overwatch style with Kuzan. Yeah, that's great. I, I, now that I realize it's Overwatch, I actually kind of think the SSRs are, are a lot cooler. <laughs> like, I think those are really neat now. 
and another age. Uh, I, I do like the SSRs. I, I do like the image. Um, those are probably the ones I think closest to the One Piece proper style. Okay, so I get GR. you. Yeah, right. I, I do. I do like that. How you classify them? The more Disney princess, so the like. I think that's fair. Right. Uh, so here we have the other SSR with Belamir. It's pretty awesome. I did really like the character sure. of Belamir. She yeah. was she was pretty badass, even if very short lived. And an HR, another Disney princess. Good as there. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, two packs left. Uh, this should be the last R with Yamato. Yeah, if you hit exactly three. I'm thinking, yes. And Monkey D. Garb in Overwatch style. Kind of so. there. And here we go with our last pack. Yeah, let's see what she got. Oh, another R. So there's four of them. Okay. That happened uh, sometimes before in Kabogs as well. And then SR, SR number three with Kit. So, all right. So that, there you go. So we have four Rs, three of these over watch ones, three SRs, two VRs, two EX. Three, yeah, two. Very three, good distribution, four. I would say, uh, it looks like on the table there. All right, so let's see what we have on the hit pack, shall we? Yeah, let's take a look. So that is one card, which is not numbered. Again, Whoa. two boxes, no serial card. <laughs> and LGR. So we have an LGR of Brooke. Oh, OK. And this is high up are... on the list, right? Sort of looks like, I don't know, like a Buddha pose? I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I can't see it yet, so it's out of my camera view. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Sorry, sorry, I don't know if you but... No, it's okay. I down. also don't know. Is that is that Brooke being enlightened? Yeah. It could be. It could be. I, I, it, could, it could be. Yeah, like I'm not really sure. This is a, <laughs> a card. Very shiny. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, we can check the flyer later. Uh, there's, there's normally like a few a few images on the flyer so you can get a better sense of what is this supposed to be, so reference or something. Yeah. But, all right, um, well, there you go. This is a, this is my second Kabag 8 or Kabag Reset, set number one content. Yeah. Great showing. Uh, we are running out of time on the Zoom meeting, so I'm going to pause and just we'll reset that. And then when we come back, we'll do the second half of my box. And we're back. Uh, we've just reset the Zoom. Uh, the trading card collector is oh. still here. So, sorry, sorry, Eric. Can can yeah. we go back for a second? You're not you're not screen sharing. I don't know if you're recording. Oh, I am recording, but I didn't start sharing. You're right. Let me just do that right now. Uh, okay, so I think you can see it. Yes. Not right. Okay. Cool. Cool. There we go. All right. No problem at all. Um, but yeah. Uh, so. We're back. Uh, what we're going to do is just open up the rest of my box here. So I have six regular packs, and then I have two hit packs to open. And that's just because I got lucky, because they're using a multi-hit multi, multi -hit pack system here. And the way that kind of works is every box has this white hit pack in it. But then maybe 12 boxes or something out of the case will have this other hit pack in it. Uh, and so you just kind of have to get lucky to get both. <laughs> Wow, I, I don't know. I love the pink on that. The it's, UR? Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like it's like candy. It's so uh so colorful. <clears throat> Put that there, and then I got another GR, but also exactly the same GR. Womp womp. Oh wow, you got the same one twice. Oh Dang. that's the same. That's in one box, too. That's not great. Well, I think I got my two GRs, I think, were the, the same ones I got yesterday, too. So <laughs> there you That's, go. Uh, you don't want to see it, though, but it, I guess it can happen. What is this? Oh, that's, that's the HR. That's what they look like. Disney okay. Princess. Oh, no. I'm going to go with that. I mean, yeah, 
Disney print. I think that's it looks accurate. Yeah, yeah. kind of accurate. I, it it looks great though, doesn't it? Like it's a it's a great quality and a great finish. And, and if you even like the this image, background awesome uh, is kind of epic. Oh, and there's like scroll yeah. work even hidden in the white here too. Yeah, yeah, it has all that all that oh. surface detailing. Easy. And then I got the kid. That's the same one I got. <laughs> yeah. Those should be my three URs. Again, it's neat because you can like work with those uh, rule of three with kebab boxes. <laughs> I haven't learned the colors yet, so I don't know what the... I, I, eventually you'll know, right, from the back what it is. Yeah. So I got my Overwatch card. It's a Frankie. Frankie Overwatch. That is stunning with the orange. Very, very pretty cards. Wow, those are... Yeah, you are not kidding. Those HRs are very nice to look at. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's see what we got here. Another one, huh? Blue this time. Uh, that's what N Nico, right? Uh, it should say, doesn't it? it might just... oh, I guess it's only in Chinese. Um, I, I think I, I honestly don't know. I, yeah, I, I mentioned, so. I mentioned yesterday because I got two women with black hair, and because of the art style, it's difficult to it tell is, who they yeah, are. It's really right? tricky. So you can only like, you only know one of them is Nico Robin, the other one is Bob Hancock, but you don't know which one's which. One of those two, yeah. Uh, but I got this wonderful uh, Nami CR here. Nice, a good looking card. Yeah, these are. I mean, these are very all look really good looking cards, but uh, some of those CRs <laughs> and these are just like stunning work. So, is the art? I, I, and you don't know, but I'm speculating now. Like, is it fan art? Is it AI art? It looks really good for AI work. I I don't know. I'm I'm assuming it's AI. I think like some of these like SRs really do look like AI. The SRs, the GRs. I can see that. For they, sure. seem, they seem to have like a different, different, uh, like a similar style. Even the VRs, the uh, the DJ ones. But yeah. I mean, you, you can you can specify right um, with AI. I've, I've asked AI to give me like a bunch of pixel art design for some of my games. And yeah, you totally it, right? can. Yeah, we, we talk, and I know the newest models the can do hands perfectly and and everything like that because I run some of these so. Right. I just keep looking. So I would speculate looking... it's all HR. It's all AI. So even this design uh, background here, maybe. It looks like the same on each one, but yeah, yeah, I, I can't speculate. Yeah. It they, is the same, yeah. They did a great job. With it. <laughs> great AI engine. Yeah, but also, like, they would have had to do layering, right? Because uh, that piece is the same piece on each of these so they would have like generated that separately than the character separately then true yes. them, I, think, so. I mean all of these cars do have the same frame around them right if you look at the srs you have like the nautical rope yep. the vrs have the LPs. yeah those are all gonna be uh, layered somehow i got myself another ex uh yeah, very. Uh, it, it reminds me of beautiful color. It's what that's a waifu set. <laughs> like very much, uh, directly reminds me of a waifu set. And then this is a puzzle. This this piece. I thought these were gonna be like classical paintings, but they're. It looks like it's oh. a puzzle. I mean, it is oh, a painting, interesting. but because it's like this piece of it. Yeah. There was there was another another previous Kavak set that had that same design, that had uh, I do remember the one with Bo Hancock. One. Yeah, I remember had, it. Yeah, that had like the same, I mean, not the same image, but it had the same frame around. Like it, it did emulate a painting, yeah, and it had the same totally, sort of frame right? I, I also kind of remember it, but I don't think it was a puzzle then. But maybe 
The one I'm thinking of was, I, th I think it was Kavak 4, perhaps. Oh, I wouldn't. Oh, no, 4 I do. That's the blue box. I don't like 4 of them. Yes, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. Yeah. It's the bad Kavak set of the ones I've seen. I don't think I've seen like 2 or 3 yet. I haven't either. Or 5. Apparently 5 was really good. But it's 5 was awesome. But yeah, that one sold out like almost immediately. I still have maybe 3 packs left here. That's about it. So my last uh, rare. I love how they all say whimsical doodle doodles. And then <laughs> Shopper, also with a gun. Oh my gosh. He's a reindeer hunting reindeer. <laughs> that's um, so meta. <laughs> that's very meta and brutal. OK. <clears throat> Oh, that's an that's an SR, right? It is. Yeah, it is. My, yeah, my my SRs are just sort of rough. Oh no, I guess that this this shanks with a rifle. I hadn't noticed that. But the other two, but well, this just, Brook um, doesn't have any kind of military stuff. He's just Brook. Although I mean, there is this one with Kid, and he doesn't have any guns, but he does have like a camouflage vest on him. So maybe that's what it is. It's just like some military element. Yeah. Yeah, could be. All right. Well, we'll round it out. We'll open up first the, uh, I guess, standard hit pack. <laughs> Let's see what it. that is. And then I remember you were speculating that the upper, the uh, other hit pack will have a redemption in it, which you're probably well, only right. because you said that it. Yeah. Uh, only because you said it was uh, slimmer. Uh, okay. Yeah. Right. So QR is in the. In the hit I was very really cute. It, I mean, I love the card. I, I have no problem at all with the card. It's just that's an interesting rarity to put in your. Uh... It's got. It's. I'm sorry. I'm like this is hard to explain, but it's tapered. <laughs> like the Ooh, edges are cute, cut though. in, so like the top is smaller than the bottom. Interesting. I had never seen that on a trading card before. And then, yeah, of course, it's it's Luffy eating, doing his favorite thing. So this is a great card. I, I actually very much like that card. <laughs> and then let's see what redemption I got. You have to be right. I mean, it's so thin and light. It just has to be. But man, so it could be a PVC. I don't know if they have them. Yeah, it could be, it could be. Okay, let's see. Oh, come on, you. Gray, uh, brown, brown card. Pretty plain on the back. It's a, it is definitely it's a, a redemption. It's a G. G. So that was yeah. pretty low down on the redemption list, right? I mean, I think most redemption prizes are pretty cool. So it might be, it might be like a binder, which are always, you know, always fun to have. Let's check. I, I actually still have the uh, flyer up, so we can go take a look. Ah. So G is G is uh, framed. framed cards. Okay, that that is a pretty fantastic redemption prize. I think I would. If I recall, agree, I mean, better correctly. than the umbrella. The umbrella, I think, comes. I yeah, the umbrella I think comes it's by fine. default with all the boxes. But yeah, I, I, I'll ask Anime Card Store if they will redeem that for me, for sure. They should. Yeah, they should absolutely. Yeah, and, and then, then my next the order, I'll get. Uh, that's how, that is actually kind of a cool price, so no problem. Um, all right, but that with that, uh, we are done now with our Kabog box. I love it, but I I came into this already kind of really loving Kabog more than everybody else. What do you think compared <laughs> to like some of the other big name sets? I mean, I think this one is worse than Kabag Seven or Kabag Dragon, and worse than Kabag Six. Fair, yeah. Uh, definitely better than Kabag Four because I think Kabag Four is just weak in general. But compared um, to some of the lucky set, yeah, like the what did we we just did uh, punk records, right? We did, yeah. Uh, I I would I would prefer the lucky ones simply because I like the images better. 
Cool. Um, yeah. I do think though that again, uh, it's just a matter of preference. If you like, if yeah. you like this this depiction of these characters, the quality is there. So the quality is just as good as Lucky. I would agree with that. And like your qual, you don't have you any like, quality issues here at all that I could see. Yeah. Yeah, not at all. Like it's high high printing quality all around, right? It, it is. Uh, I do agree with what you said earlier. It is a bit weird that the R cards are just playing yeah all strange i don't think i don't think Quebec had done that before but you know the, the card quality is there it's just a matter like do you like these images or not yeah all right all right i think this, that's this for you, yeah. yeah um okay well why don't we go ahead and uh well uh, we'll ask the audience i mean tell us what do you think is best you know leave a comment uh <laughs> or or yeah yeah that's probably the best way is leave a comment and let us know if you like this set better than some of the lucky ones we've looked at before um, and then, like, why? Like, what about the set? Is it the art style? Is it the images? Is it the designs? Like, what What about the sets? Uh, is either turning you on or turning you off? I'm interested to hear. Uh, but otherwise, I think we'll end the video here. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'll say goodbye. And you can say goodbye, too. And then we'll be done. Bye-bye, everybody. Yeah. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>